Hey what's up guys, Alex here. Today I'm going to try to make the coolest program I can in only 5 minutes. First I want to let you know that a lot of people have been understanding Java a lot better with my course. So if you want to understand Java, check out my full Java course link down below. So basically I only have 5 minutes to make the coolest program I can. And I'll be doing this live, walking through my thoughts. I have no idea what I'm going to make and start. Start. Okay. So let's make, let's make a Java project here. Call it five mins. Man, my heart is racing. I don't know what I'm gonna make yet, um, but I do have dinosaurs on my shirt, so I'll call it dinosaur. Maybe we can get some ideas. Um, one thing I like to do is get input from a user, so I always do that with the scanner. And then interacting with the console is always system.in. Import that into a program. Let's um, let's just print out the results of what I'll be printing or what I'll be inputting into the console. Save a string. We'll call it input, and then set that up here. String input equals scan dot next. Um, let's just do next. Let's just do next for now. Save and run. Now if I input something. Even if it's two words, it'll get the first word. Um, the title is called Dinosaur. So what I want to do, it makes kind of like a dinosaur program. Maybe like um, I could input a number and randomize, randomize dinosaur names. Um, maybe have like a battle. Oh, I have three and a half minutes. Um, let's make a dinosaur battle program. Um, say there's, okay, let's print out. Um, T-Rex versus Triceratops. I don't know how to spell it. It's going to be that for now. Um, we'll say enter your move. Enter your move for the battle. And then I'll input, um, we'll make this scan.next line. And then we'll input a move. And then Okay, let's maybe have an array of moves here. Only a few more minutes. Um, and the moves will be strings, moves, um, and we'll have maybe move like um, <laughs> bite. We'll have bite and um, punch. Dinosaurs can punch, right? <laughs> um, I did not initialize this right. This has to be moves good thank god that worked so we can say if um, input dot equals ignore case if that equals um, say moves zero the first element then we'll say um, you um, you and then punched the try the try we'll just say try for now try setups and then say else if input equals ignore case if that is equal to moves of one then we'll say this out shortcut we'll say you punched the try and this should be bit the try um, so now if we save and run this um, this didn't print out, oh, because it's scanning before the print statement. Do that here. Save and run. T-Rex versus said Tris, Triceratops, enter move. I'm going to bite it, bite. And then it says, you bit the try. Um, let's get rid of this printing the input. I don't need that anymore. We can maybe have damage and make an object for the Triceratops. Um, what, what's my time? So to make sure, only a few things. Okay, um, Maybe we can do damage and keep track of the damage. Um, we say int 45 seconds. Um, okay, we can say um, int T Rex um, equals 100 for the health, and then int try equals 100 for its health. And then we could say that um, we'll do triceratops. Um, 
equals Triceratops health minus um, 60. Say a bite is 60 damage. And then um, the punch, 15 seconds. The punch is 80 dam 20 damage. Save and run. And then I want to, I'm gonna print out, print out um, the damage. Save and run. Okay. And that's time. That's time. Okay. <laughs> what? I'm so stupid. Okay. Let's, let's shut this up. Okay, so here's my program. Okay. T-Rex versus Triceratops. Definitely not the right spelling. Enter your move. Bite. You bit the try. And then that did 40 damage to the Triceratops. And then 40... <laughs> Wow. Basically, I had no idea what, what I was going to make and it ended up being like a one-sided. So you're the player is the T-Rex and you enter like a move and then that does damage to the Triceratops. You don't get to pick if you're the T-Rex or the Triceratops, you're just the Tricer you're just the T-Rex. Let's zoom out to this beautiful program here. Oh my goodness, this beauty. You can get into MIT with this right here. This is basically what I'm most comfortable with in Java. So, and like, I thought one of the coolest things was like scanners and then also randomizers, but I didn't have time for that. So I just printed some stuff to sort of set the scene, had some like setup of moves. Then I, I set up the input. So this is my final project. Only used one library scanner. And man, that was exciting. My heart is racing right now. <sighs> well, thanks for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed this. But yeah, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.